Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1967, long listed problem number 50, proposed by Sweden. Let f and g be uh, functions from r squared into r, and let h be a function from r cubed into r, and this function satisfy these two equalities, h of x, y, z equals f of x plus y, z, equals g of x, y plus z, for all real numbers x, y, and z. We wish to prove that there is a function k, which takes just one argument, it goes from r into r, such that h of x, y, z equals k of x plus y plus z, for all real numbers x, y, and z. So it's a rather simple problem, and here are my hints. First, set y to be 0 to express f and g in terms of h, and then set z to be 0 and try to define the function k from there. So give this problem a try. Alright, so let's start. Let's take our equation, let's call it this condition asterisk, and let's set y to be 0 in condition asterisk. Notice that we have the following two equalities, h of x, 0, z equals f of x, z equals g of x, z. So our condition asterisk now becomes, now becomes the following h of x, y, z, instead of f of x plus y, z, we can write, a, instead of f of x plus y, z, we can write a, h of uh, x plus y, 0, z, which also equals, and instead of g of x, y plus z, we can write h of x, 0, y plus z. And let's call this condition double asterisk. And now let's set let's set z to be zero in condition double asterisk. And then, then we have the following. If we set z to be zero, we see that h of x plus y zero zero equals h of x, 0, y. Alright, so in other words, this function on the right hand side has two, has one, uh, yes, has two free slots, so, uh, and the function on the left hand side has just one, so it's a, it's an advancement for us. And notice that now, using that, our condition double asterisk, becomes the following h of x y z h of x y z and now instead of this part which is h of x 0 y plus z by our condition which I will mark triangle by condition triangle we can put y plus z in the first argument. So it's h of x plus y plus z, 0, 0. Alright, and that really closes our problem, because now it suffices to define, it suffices now to define, to define k going from a set of real numbers into itself by the formula k of x equals h of x 0 0 and then then h of x y z as we know it equals k of x plus y plus z and this closes our proof.
it's exactly what we wanted to demonstrate. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.